For the fourth year in a row, I'm supporting the Prison Book Program in this year's Project for Awesome. The Prison Book Program is a small, Massachusetts-based nonprofit that's been laser-focused on one problem for over 50 years. The problem? People in jails and prisons want to read, but it's very hard for them to get books. So prisoners write to the PBP with book requests, and they do their best to get them those books for free. Everybody should be able to read. Everybody. And more than that, people should be able to read what they want. That's Kelly Brotsman, the executive director of the Prison Book Program. The main reason it's so hard for incarcerated people to get books is prison policy. Prison libraries are small if they exist at all, and if you want your own books, you have to get someone to buy and ship them to you from a third-party seller like Amazon, for security reasons. But many prisoners don't know someone who's willing to buy them a book on Amazon, or don't have friends or family who can afford it. That's where the prison book program comes in. We secure status as an approved vendor and what that means is that we have to reassure um, officials at the prison that, you know, we screen our books for contraband. We, you know, remove foreign objects from our books. And the PBP has negotiated that status as a trusted vendor with prisons in all 50 states. When a prisoner writes to them, their requests get passed along to a small army of volunteers that the PBP calls book fairies. A lot of our book fairies are um, like the CIA agents. They have sources and methods that you and I are not aware of. Sometimes the requests are broad, like LGBT fiction. But sometimes they're very, very specific. So this person was dreaming of converting a school bus into like an RV that one could live in. He seemed to think, you know, that if he ever got out, that would be a great way to live. And so we thought, gosh, what kind of book would, you know, would be right for this person? In the end, a book fairy managed to find a memoir about a family who lived in a converted school bus and a book about RV repairs. And again, he may never realize this plan, but he's he can at least dream about it. And he can picture himself riding around in his converted school bus. Prisoners often have no internet access, so they need books to fill the role that Google plays for most of us. We use Google to fantasize about trips we'd like to take or RVs, but we also use it just to look stuff up. An almanac, a world, world book of facts, an almanac is like gold in prison. Everyone who receives one says, oh, it, it's, um, it settles a lot of fights. <laughs> You know, what's the capital of Kenya? I say it's this. No, I say it's this. And the guy with the almanac always wins. They love knowing, like, who won the Grammys this year and, like, who won the Indy 500. All that stuff is in there. And there's world maps and things like that and flags of countries. One more thing. The PBP has gotten Project for Awesome grants for the past four years. John and Hank Green have taught me that the best way to support organizations is through sustained, long-term attention and giving. And Nerdfighteria has become that kind of long-term sponsor for the PBP. We've helped them as they've grown a lot over the last four years. We're holding four times as many volunteer sessions a year as we ever could have before. And we're sending like double the number of packages and double the number, probably triple the number of books. So I hope you'll consider voting for the Prison Book Program in this year's Project for Awesome. The link to vote is in the doobly-doo. There's also a link to the PVP website and their online wishlist.